Okay. Uh, you're gonna hear a dripping noise because I have you propped against my fish tank now. Let's just try all of the positions in this room. Um, if we're over at my desk, the lighting is just not as good and the light is right behind me, so I'm, I don't know. But then the angle on this is just awful. Anyway, this is five things, which is where I talk about five things that I finished or I'm just passing on. It's just like a quickie review to, you know, talk about what the item was like, why I'm getting rid of it, either I used it all up or it wasn't for me and uh, I'm getting rid of it and whether or not I would repurchase again, which obviously if I finished it is probably more likely than if I'm passing it on to a friend, I suppose, unless it's the wrong color. I don't know. Anyway, um, so starting off, Beauty Blender. Um, this, I've had this for more than a year. Um, it's, I wasn't, I wasn't worried about not being able to clean it properly because I was very thorough the whole time I owned it. And there was a point when I started feeling a little questionable about it. And I saw a video where this girl, she's a girl, she was like in her mid-30s like me. Not in my mid-30s, I'm in my early 30s. Let's be clear. Um, it's less sad. And so she had had one for a couple of years and probably had this, about the same wash schedule as I do for my sponges, which is pretty much every time I use it, I will wash it, which is true. Like even for my foundation brushes, I almost always at least use like a spot cleaner and take the pigment off. Uh, I don't necessarily do a deep clean every time I use my brushes, but most of the time with my beauty blender or even with my Quo sponge that I am using now, which I prefer because it's a little bit denser um, and it doesn't take up as much product as this one does. I will say that. Um, I wish it was this shape, but that consistency. Um, so I think I'll keep trying different ones. But um, I started being concerned about being able to keep it as clean and hygienic as I liked when it started developing, uh, if you can see, like it started getting these cracks in the bottom. Um, and I'm not really sure why, probably just because I'm very vigorous and I squish, I don't know. I don't know, and I'm not going to question it. Um, I'm probably going to hold on to it long enough to do like a cut open video just to see what the inside of it looks like because I'm curious, but then it's going in the trash because I've had it for more than a year and even though I clean it pretty much every time I use it, it's kind of one of those things. I had another one anyway that I got on sale, um, not a beauty blender, and I wouldn't have owned this if I hadn't gotten it from Birchbox. Um, if there was a way, because there was a, there was a while there where Birchbox was selling, it was a two pack for like thirty bucks. Um, in that sense, I would consider that worth it. But as it stands right now, I think it's like twenty eight bucks on Sephora. So, yeah. So then the second thing is this isn't completely done but it's as much as I can get out of it, which is annoying without cutting it open, um, which is inconvenient. And this is the Tresemme Expert Selection. Um, this is the beautiful volume. This is from their Bodyful line. Um, I actually got this as part of like a kind of PR promotion through uh, Glam Sense, which is, I don't even know if it's gonna be a thing they're gonna carry on, but the top box people were doing it. Um, so I got in the kit the shampoo and the conditioner and then this. So it's, it, there are commercials, um, you condition first and then you go in with the shampoo and then you use this and you blow dry. Um, so it's like a leave-in conditioner, volume boosting, heat protectant all in one. Um, it was a decent leave-in conditioner, I just didn't notice it giving me that much volume. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was okay. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was a decent leave-in conditioner. <laughs> but that was about it. And then I couldn't get any more ah, out of it. Because uh, it, it has a really weird nozzle, too. Like, the nozzle, I don't, I don't know that that's showing up. Um, but it's got, like, multiple ports on the nozzle. I think to maybe, like, I don't know. 
do a similar effect to um, mousse maybe, but it wasn't. Um, then I have an empty tea. This is from a while ago. It's purple, purple oolong by uh, the World Tea House. Uh, very earthy. If you like the taste of mud and twigs, you will probably like it. Um, then I have this Lancome Hypnos Mascara. Um, this one, I bought the full size. I had the sample forever. Um, I've had this for... God, I've been...